Well, let's be honest, we don't typically need an official reason to celebrate over a bottle of wine, but today we have one. It is National Wine Day. Lisa and Kelsey visit Next Chapter Winery in New Prague, where they put a perfect summertime twist on your typical glass of wine. So we are at Next Chapter Winery and a new concoction, a new way to use wine. What do we have here? Yes, we have our wine floats. So what this is, is ice cream, Usually we use blackberry or cranberry wine, and then Sprite or 7-Up to just add the fizz. Oh, it's a great okay. thing on a summer day. Yeah, wow. so it's just kind of a fun um, yeah, way to use a sweet wine, and then it just adds different creamy flavor components with the fruitiness. I had a dream about this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so we had a staff party, and we had extra ice cream that I forgot to bring out. And so I was stressed about how, what to do with like five gallons of ice cream, and then I just had a dream of adding it with wine. So oh, that's how it's so good. <laughs> you just keep asking the questions. Okay. I'm gonna keep <laughs> um, ice cream is just one thing. What are some other things that you do with the wine that are kind of non-traditional? Uh, we do wine slushies. Oh. Uh, we do a cran mosa, which is our cranberry wine with orange juice and club soda. So it's oh. like a mimosa in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've in the past done a bloody marquette, which is a bloody mary mix with marquette wine added to it. And you guys are known for bringing musicians in, but also food trucks yes. around the area to get people to come. So what can people expect or how do they know about your schedule? Yeah, for sure. So you can check us out on Facebook or Instagram and then on our website at nextchapterwinery.com. We do wine bingo every Wednesday, uh, Thursdays and Sundays. And um, throughout the month, we do cards and cocktails. And then um, on Thursdays as well, we're doing $5 cocktails because we are doing our new flavored vodka cocktails, which you guys yes. covered. Um, so it's a way, and then we just built a new playground area so you can bring your kids. And then um, it's if you buy an adult beverage, you get a free slushie. So. Um, do you find that you're becoming a destination, not just for like local mm -hmm. folks, right? Yeah, I would definitely say that people, a lot of our customers drive down from the cities or Mankato. My dad grew up in South Africa and was surrounded by vineyards and then uh, he met my mom in the Peace Corps, so their story is kind of cool. Um, and then for their engagement, they went and toured vineyards and were like, this is what we want to do. So it kind of started from their story first. My dad planted the vines and I helped him in 2007. And then it kind of just evolved from there. I was working here more often with just tours, people popping in. And then I said, Dad, I really think we should be open to the public. <laughs> I think we can make this a tasting room. Um, and so I left my teaching career to do this full time. And then he was just helping all the time as an auto mechanic, and then it just seemed like we needed him more and more, and so he was willing to join us uh, a couple of years later. Yep, 2019. So. so 2014 is when we opened to the public, and then uh, became opened up this space. So this barn is built in 1910. So we renovated this to, pr to become the tasting room, so we could do weddings over in the barrel room and the pavilion, the stilling, the patio. Awesome. Patio. Built the pavilion in 2020. Flavored vodkas. Flavored What's vodkas next? this year. Whatever she comes up with. <laughs> well, that's the right answer, yeah. isn't it, Jackie? <laughs> hey, we always. always have a blast with you. So we're always looking for an excuse for you to come back. And what better way than National Wine Day? And we're going to talk about some, some great pairing options that you have. Um, some good summer foods. So let's start with chips, queso, maybe some salsa in there. And uh, we'll see what that pairs well with. Yeah, so I'm at... We were trying to do like a whole meal that you could have with wine. Yeah. And so starting off with your appetizer. So first we're starting off with the Mary Me. Um, so especially if you have like a spicy salsa or spicy queso, it's nice to pair it with something slightly sweet um, to mm -hmm. offset that. Um, sometimes the sweetness can then enhance the flavor so you're not just feeling the heat. Yes, this one is very delicious. Yeah, <laughs> so that's kind of our recommendation for um, the chips and queso. Chips and queso. Chips and queso <laughs> and salsa. Um, well, yep. Rob will like this next one. Um, you know, you're, you're a big grilling guy. Yep. You Love like the to, barbecue this yep. time of year and everything. Yeah. So what pairs with that? <laughs> yes, for sure. So depending on what you're grilling. Um, so if you like hamburgers, steaks, I would recommend the Wedded Bliss because that's a nice dry red. Otherwise, um, if you're doing something like grilled chicken or um, like chicken brats, I love those. Um, the Hot Mess Express is a dry white. That would pair mm -hmm. well with that. So that's that one right over there. All right, Rob's going to try that one out. And the dry white um, does pair well with the chicken. Um, again, some of the smoky flavors are nice with the fruity flavors mm. of this one. Oh, that is it's good. really good. Yeah. 
I've had that one before. I know it's good. <laughs> um, all right, let's go on to the fruit kebabs. Yeah, so next we have the blackberry wine. Now that one was actually in the wine float that we just yes. we showed there. Wow, you're good. Yep, so oh, the blackberry yeah. wine um, is nice and fruity, which again pairs well mm -hmm. with uh, fruit is shish kebab or just fruit kebab. Whatever what you want it, it to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, was tough, yeah. So the, the blackberry is very sweet, very fruity. Mm -hmm. um, it's so good. It's so good, you guys. <laughs> All right, well, Snicker salad is up next, and that's always a good summer um, treat. Yes, yeah, so the Snicker salad um, has some chocolate in it, and so mm -hmm. we chose the Dash and Groom for that one because the Dash and Groom has some chocolatey notes. The Dash and Groom is a Minnesota red made with Franchnack and Marquette grapes. Um, it can be sweet or um, dry notes to it, depending if you're having it chilled or room temperature. Um, and because it's a sweet red, oh, yeah. you can do both. Mm. I could see that being it's really, really good. good. I love Marquettes. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I'm so glad. <laughs> and I'm seeing a theme here. A lot of um, your wine names have to do with marriage. Yeah, we do. We do a lot of <laughs> weddings here, and you guys were kind enough to cover yeah. that we do weddings at the winery. Um, and the Hot Mess Express is kind of just one to <laughs> break that up a little bit because we like to be fun too. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, of course, we talked about it a little bit, but uh, patio area is a, a really great hot spot for you guys for for the summer months. Yeah, definitely. So um, we have a large patio that overlooks the vineyard. And so it's nice to enjoy any of these things. We have food trucks, but you can also bring your own food sometimes um, and pair with any of these wines. And I like that you post weekly on your Facebook page. This is what's going on this weekend. <laughs> so um, I always uh, stay up to date with the Next Chapter Winery Facebook page for information on that. And we'll have more when we come back. Thanks so much for being here today.